ready to bake in the kitchen with me today? I'm so excited. We're gonna be making some beautiful unicorn biscuits today. These are super easy and super fun to do with the kids. And the best thing is you get to paint them after you do all the hard work in the kitchen. And if you're lazy like me, you skip the painting part and just eat the delicious cookie. So all we need is some very basic supplies. A lot of these things you'll have already. Just some good quality paintbrushes that you use only for food products. I've just got one thin and one thicker one. I've got some paint your own tabs here. These are a food coloring that's already been dried. So all we need to do is activate that with some water. I've already baked off our unicorn biscuits. We use the Miss Biscuit dough recipe. So I'll leave that in the link below. I've got some gold paint for the horn, some water, these beautiful unicorn fondant embosses. These are from 3D Print All The Things on Instagram. And then I've just got a chucks with a lacquer like band just to put some corn flour in to dust our bench a rolling pin and some good quality ready to roll fondant. We use the Bakehouse brand, it is fantastic. In Australia, that's mainly what we all use um, because there is such high quality brands of fondant or ready to roll icing on the market. There is no need to be making that yourself because usually the ones that you can buy from good quality cake shops are much more superior to what you can make yourself. So to start with, I'm just gonna take my chucks and lay it out so it's just twofold. And then we're just gonna add some corn flour into the middle. You can use any brand of corn flour. At the moment, this is actually all I could get at the supermarket and we don't use much of it, so I don't buy this one wholesale. And then you're just gonna take it and wrap it all up into a little parcel. You don't obviously have to do this every time you bake some cookies, you can leave this in your pantry. So this just gives us a little puffer so we don't get too much corn flour on the bench, but we don't want that ready to roll icing to stick. So now we can just dust on the bench and it ensures we don't get any sticking. I'm just gonna take out some white fondant. Today we are covering them in white because we're gonna be painting the details ourselves. But of course you can use any food coloring and just actually dye the fondant so then you have a colored base as well. So now what I'm gonna do is I've got some white fondant here. It does come out of the block quite firm, especially at the moment because it is so cold. So we're just gonna give that a knead on our corn flour surface. And we're just gonna soften that up until it's pliable and then we can start rolling. This is a time where you really wanna get the kids involved. But yeah, I think you definitely need some helping hands if you're doing a lot of these. Obviously, it's, you have to ensure that you've got clean hands when you're doing this. If I was working in the kitchen um, selling these, I'd be wearing gloves, but I'm just making these to eat today, so we're gonna do it all natural. So now I'm gonna roll out the fondant. You don't want this too thick, but you also don't want it too thin because you wanna get a nice impression of that embosser. So I'll just show you exactly how I do it. We wanna take some more corn flour and dust our bench just to make sure we, we don't get any sticking. We're gonna put some on top as well. And we're gonna take our rolling pin and start rolling. And then I usually just pick it up and move it along as I go, just to ensure no sticking. If you get any air bubbles in your fondant like here, you'll just use an acupuncture needle or a needle you have at home that's clean, obviously, and brand new, and um, pop those out. But I don't need this much fondant today, so I'm just gonna avoid those areas when I cut. A lot of people tell me they don't like the taste of fondant, and I'm not really sure why, because I think it's delicious especially paired with a vanilla biscuit. But I think maybe they just haven't had a nice, good quality fondant. But you know the best thing of all, with this plain vanilla fondant, you can also flavor it with any essential oils. So in the supermarket even, or obviously at good cake decorating shops, there's over 100 flavors that you can get these little bottles and put like cotton candy flavoring, grape, whatever you like. So that really, your imagination is the limit for these. Just dust your surface as needed. We don't want too much corn flour, but obviously the worst thing is when you get to the end of rolling and you don't have enough and it's all stuck. So for me, this is the perfect thickness of fondant. It's not too chewy, but it's definitely enough to get a nice imprint. If you prefer more icing, you can definitely roll it thicker. So now I'm just gonna spread out my unicorn biscuits so they're ready to go. Look at that little army. And then we're just gonna cut with our main cutter, the exact same shape. We're gonna cut the fondant and we wanna rub it against the bench just to get a nice smooth cut. 
These are a little bit different to a metal cutter. They don't cut as clean because they are 3D printed. So you want to put a lot of pressure against the bench to make sure you get a nice smooth surface. Just remove your cutter. A lot of the times it will just fall out naturally. You want to take our embosser and you just want to put a little bit of corn flour on there. And we don't want to push too hard here because otherwise you will cut right through. And you just want to put a nice embossing. Just try to be as even as possible when you push down. Then just remove that embosser and you have a beautiful pattern there. You want to pick it up. And if there is any bits that haven't cut very smoothly, you just want to smooth it off with your fingers around the edges. It will be quite soft if you have a good quality fondant, so just keep your hand as flat as possible and just smooth it off. Now what we're going to do is flip it over in our hand. If your horn is a bit floppy, just put them back. And then grab a paintbrush with a little bit of water. And we want to just wet the back of this fondant so we can stick it to our biscuit. And once it's stuck, it will start to set. So I'm going to bring my biscuit and I find the easiest way is to plop it on. And then once you flip it over, you can adjust it so you have everything in the right spot. Don't worry too much about the corn flour because as you can see, once the biscuit is all intact and the icing's on, we can dust that off and we're gonna be painting them after anyway. So now we've got that fondant on the biscuit, it's all ready to go. So you can either leave it as is if you just want it plain. Otherwise, I've found at the moment, everyone's looking for activities. So this is the perfect blank canvas to start painting. So the world really is your oyster with this one. You can use any food coloring. I've seen people even use Smarties and wet them to paint the colors on there. So really, whatever you have in the cupboard, make use of it, stick some lollies on there, do whatever you want. As long as you have fun in the kitchen, that's the main thing. So I bought these amazing little tabs from Sweet Sticks. They come in a range of colors and they're already dehydrated. So all you gotta do is add a drop of water and they turn into an edible food paint. So these are amazing if you're gifting them to other people because they don't need to go out and source all different supplies. So I'm just gonna take a paintbrush with some water and add a drop of water onto each color and just start mixing them through to form a paint. I can see already it's just lifting off. How amazing are these? What a creation. And then once you've got your color on your brush, then you can just go through and start painting it onto the cookie. So these come in all different colors, depending obviously what cookies you're doing or what age group. But I'm gonna add a few different colors onto my cookie here. And you can obviously add more water if you want a watercolor finish, or you can add less if you want it to be more opaque. So I'm gonna go through and just add it on every third one or so, because we're gonna use a few colors. So this is actually a really therapeutic activity. I actually love painting on cookies. So this really is for any age group. So do get involved if you are buying them for the kids. Actually do it too, because you might really enjoy it. If you're using an edible paint in a bottle, they are a lot better quality than the paints just because that you don't get as many streaks because you're actually like painting with something that has alcohol in them. These do have alcohol that evaporates, so these um, get a really thick and smooth finish. Whereas the paints, because you're just using the water, will be a bit thin and diluted. But if you're doing them at home with the kids, like they're not gonna mind at all, they're gonna love it. But if you're in a professional environment, you'll probably use a better quality paint. If you do have some extra supplies at home, if you are a professional decorator or just enjoy decorating like me, I had some black edible paint. So I went through and added some nice eyelashes with the black just to deepen and add some more definition. But of course you don't have to do that. That's just an extra step. And if you are just having fun in the kitchen, don't stress. You can literally do whatever you'd like. Color, no color, whatever, no matter what, they're gonna taste absolutely amazing. And I'm sure everyone in the household is gonna enjoy them. Thanks so much for joining me today. I had fun showing you an interesting and different way to use things that you have around the house to create some extra fun during this time. If you wanna keep watching, give this video a like, and of course, subscribe if you wanna get notified when I have new videos, and I'll see you next week.